From the creators of Storytime Chess comes their new innovation, Storytime Backgammon, a way to teach children how to play classic games like chess and now backgammon in a fun storytime mode. This game has a double-sided board so you can play the classic backgammon after teaching your child the basics of the game, and of course the Storytime board in which you're going to be setting up ships and teaching them in set mini-games of three different stories per chapter and each of them having three separate mini-games. How to move your pieces, how to bump people onto the sandbar, and then how to get all of your pieces into a certain area and off of the game board. This is a full-on learning session for backgammon in a fun and stylish way. I'm going to explain how the game is kind of set up and then of course how to play the game, but mainly I want to talk about the idea of behind the story time learning of story time backgammon. To set the game up, the first thing you will notice is you'll have the game board. You should set it up on the story time mode first, which is going to have all the different locations, the sandbar, Icelandia, Mount Blossom, and Fruit Harbor. Uh, set it up basically based on how the book explains it. Now, at the very end of the book is where you'll get the final version of Backgammon, but there are many different small stories which will have you have different setups for the game. For the basic idea of Backgammon, you'll set up a 2535 setup, um, and then you'll do it on both sides. And basically, it'll be set up just like this. You'll have five here for purple, three here, five here, and two here. And then on the opposite sides will pertain the white pieces. Then you're going to set aside the two extra dice. These dice are basically used for learning purposes, but each player is going to get these little dice rollers and two dice, uh, white and black ones inside of them. Other than that, that's the basic idea of how to set up backgammon, but that's not really the whole purpose of this video. But just in case you were wondering, uh, this is how it is set up. Let's talk about how to play the game and of course the story time chess modes of the game as well. So there are nine chapters in the book and each chapter is going to have three mini games that you're going to play. It'll explain the basics of how to play. It'll show you the game board, the dice, the cups, the game pieces, and how they're utilized. And then it'll go into stories. Each chapter has their own unique story, and it's a full story of the game um, with illustrations, beautiful illustrations for kids, and that are then eventually going to get you into the game. First, you'll learn how to read the dice and what pips are. So it's for the very basic learning essentials of just any type of game, um, and mainly structured based around the strategy and understanding of backgammon. Uh, but then you're going to go into basically the rolling to move and how that works in the game and how you're going to be using each of these little port areas to move your pieces from one to the next. Um, and you'll move on from there, learning how to uh, bear off, how to move from uh, one location to another into your specific area the game and bearing off is a type of thing you do in backgammon where each of your pieces are on the location you need to be in to leave the board and you have to all be in a certain area to do so and this explains kind of how to do that and then it'll go on to the next chapter and it'll talk about the next portion of the story which will then get you to learning how to go, go around the board or how to take a turn and each of these little portions explains a portion of the game backgammon. Now the main essential idea of backgammon is you'll have your pieces around the game board and your objective is to roll your dice, move your pieces based on what you roll, and you can use one piece to move that number of spaces or two different pieces to move two separate spaces. Um, and you can never move on to uh, your opponent's space if they have uh, at least two pieces. If they only have one and you move on to it, you will bump them off, forcing them to go back to their base to start, or your base to start again and go around the game board and your objective is to get all of your pieces into your area and then bear off leaving the area and scoring points based on your opponent's remaining pieces and where they are on the game board but this does it all in a unique way that explains it to kids this is a way in which you're going to be able to teach them portion by portion how the game is played little portions of strategy are kind of inserted into it all with a fun story time aspect to it it's very similar to their story time chess game in which i reviewed quite a while ago but this one here is is a little different because it's now backgammon as opposed to chess, all done in the same way, learning how to play the game as a young child up to even an adult, being able to teach their kid and learn the game themselves. Of course, when you're all set, you can go ahead and flip the game board over and then begin playing backgammon as it's intended to be played in the classical form, or you can just keep this main game board out just like it is and play backgammon this way. There's no harm in doing either one. But that's the basic idea of the game. Get your pieces from one side of the board all the way to the other. Attempt to uh, score as many points as you can by having your opponents go back to the sandbar space and learn the game with your kids and the story of backgammon. It's, yeah, let's talk about my review. So if you want to teach your kids classic games, this is a really cool way to do it. And so far, they're the only ones I've seen do this style of gameplay where you read the story to your kid, kind of
kind of almost like a bedtime story. And you explain a little portion of the game and you kind of play this little mini game, learning how to bear off, learning how to move your pieces and rolling to move and taking turns, all these basic concepts in gaming made for small children to start to understand and taught in a more strategic type of a game like chess or backgammon. And these games are generally speaking strategy, but in this one here, there's a little bit of luck and a little bit of strategy based on what die you roll, but not only what die you roll, but what pieces you can move or choose to move and how you choose to utilize them and how aggressive you want to be in the game. And this is a pretty aggressive game, trying to take your opponent's pieces from the game board and put them on the sandbar forcing them to go back and then once again repeat. And I just love the concept of this. I really, really think it's a great way to teach kids how to play these classic games, but not only that, get them into board gaming in general and have them understand the concepts of these type of games is a great learning tool. The pieces are beautifully done, really high quality plastic with a nice uh, insert that actually fits really, really well into the plastic. It's like, it's like a standee, but it's a very, very nice one. Uh, the bows are different for each of the different types of pieces, and you can represent those for your kids by either looking at the boats themselves or the colored pieces being either purple or white. Additionally, too, you have these big hunkin' rollers that are nice and easy for kids to roll and nice large dice, as well as bonus die as well. I, I can't remember exactly how you pronounce these dice here, but it's a flippy dice. They're basically bonus dice, because whenever you roll doubles in this game, like two sixes, you'll get four sixes, or two fours, you'll get four fours. Uh, this is going to allow kids to understand that concept by adding the extra die as though they had been rolled. So I rolled two fives, I'll add two more fives with these dice, so they're just set separately, and now I'll move my pieces along the game board. It's all really well done and really well tied together. This is a slower learning process. This is not really for teens and adults unless you're teaching children. This is specifically made for the young adults to teach small kids or adults to teach small kids understand the concepts of backgammon. The backgammon is a fairly simple game with some unique concepts and strategy, but when implemented at a young age, teaching these to children will allow them to kind of have this hand-eye coordination, this like, they're able to kind of understand these concepts earlier and earlier, thus leading them to even more board games. And that's what my channel is all about, all the different types of modern board games. And so being able to teach kids these type of games and giving them a way for them to understand and comprehend is always wonderful. Throw in a high quality game, board with wonderful little pieces, just extra little components, a full-on story that you can teach periodically throughout the weeks or even months of learning and understanding a game is just a really, really, really awesome concept. The previous game, uh, Chess, Storytime Chess, won a ton of awards and I was not surprised one bit that a bunch of parents were, and educators were going to love this type of a game for kids. And I think this is going to fall into that same realm. The difference between the two games is this one has not only the strategy but also a, a concept of luck and dice rolling as opposed to moving chess pieces around. Uh, chess is also a much more complicated and deep strategical game, but this one here has kind of a little bit of everything. Um, for those of you who love backgammon, this is gonna be a wonderful way to teach your kids to understand the concepts of the game. And of course, um, even older people like my grandparents would be able to learn a game like this by understanding the concepts. Now the story, maybe not so much, but just the concepts introduced in each of the portions is just a wonderful way of illustrating how games work. I really, really, really love these games. This is another seal of approval, an easy hands down seal of approval for playing this game. If you love backgammon and you want to teach somebody else that's younger, then this is the one to pick up. Storytime backgammon, uh, just, just so cool. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. This one is for Storytime backgammon, but there's also a link in the description for Storytime Chess if you're interested in that as well, or instead, both are great learning utensils for these classic games. And of course, if you'd like, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button if you think we've earned your subscription. We have a live stream every Sunday and of course every Wednesday on Whatnot, 6 3 p.m. PST and Sunday is everywhere else. Thank you so much for watching and as always I look forward to reading a story and learning a game with kids with you next time.